Hey there everyone and welcome back to the Geeks for Geeks channel and today we are going to talk about linked list. So title of the today's video is delete without the head pointer. So this is the fourth video in the series of competitive programming. So if you haven't watched the previous videos, go back and watch them now. So we have to delete a note from linked list without the head pointer given to it. So this question is very easy and has been asked in many big companies like Amazon, Goldman Sachs, Samsung, Microsoft, Visa and Critical Solutions. So the question is as below. We are given a pointer reference to the node which is to be deleted from the linked list of n nodes. And our task is to delete the node. And pointer reference to the head node is not given. I would repeat, no head reference is given to us. So we have to delete without the head reference. Okay. So the input is like this. So the first line, first line of the input contains number of test cases t and for each test case first line of input contains length of the linked list and the next line contains the data and the last line contains the node to be deleted. So the output should be we have to print the linked list after deleting the given node and our task again this is a function problem so we only need to complete a function delete node and all the rest of the work is done by the driver code and we have to just print out the linked list after deleting the given node and here are the constraints for this question so now let's move forward to the sample input so this is the sample input first line is t number of test cases we are given and this is the first test case and this is the second test case here okay so the first line of the first test case give us the number of nodes in the linked list so there are two so there are two nodes one and two i have just done a picture representation over here and we have to delete first element okay this this node we have to delete this so what would be the output this will go here and the output would be only two as you can see and for the second we are given four nodes 10 20 4 30 and we have to delete 20 from them so again this is a picture representation of the second input and we have to delete this node so what will be the output seems like it will goes like this so this node will be deleted and the output should be 10, 4, 30. Now let's move forward to the approaches we need, we are going to take to solve this problem. So there are basically two approaches we are going to take. First is this and second is this. Okay. So first you can do, the, we can do this by swapping the values. Again, this method is a lot more efficient than the second one and requires a good control over the pointers. And there are some chances of memory leaks in this. And the second approach is uh, first, we need have to copy the data from the next node to the current node, then link the node after the next node to the current node. And then the next node is removed, but its data is saved in the current node. Okay, so uh, we are just going to do the second steps first because it's simpler than the first and, and I'm going to show how to implement the first step with the pointers as well. So this is a representation of how the second steps, uh, second step work. So as you can see, first we have to copy the data from the next node to the current node. So here the node we have to delete is this B. And first we'll copy the data from the next node that is C to this B node. Okay, so we have done this in this step. And then what we are gonna do, then link the node after the next node to the current node. So we have to link this node to the second node. Okay, so we are just adding the reference to it in its next part of the linked list. And then we can just delete this uh, this node and we will be good to go. So now let's move forward to the coding part. Okay, one more thing that we need to take care of that is that we can delete the last element of the input linked list because we are not given to the head reference to the, uh, to the linked list. So we can delete the last element. Okay, so there's a constraint and exception to this problem as we can see. And back to the code. So we are going to implement the second approach first and then we will go for the sec first approach with the help of the pointers and C++ and reference in Java. First step is to copy the data from the next uh, node to the current node. Okay. So first we will create a node. Okay. So what we are doing is we are just creating a temporary node delete, which is the next node to the current node. That is this node. Okay. And also, uh, as I told you that we can delete the last element 
of the linked list. So we will check for it for in the first line. Now we are moving forward to the first step that is copy the data from the next node to the current node. Now the second step is to link the node after the next node to the current node. And at last we can just free up the memory and delete this uh, delete node, the temporary node. And with this our code is all complete so we can try to run it. So as you can see for our given input this the output should be this and we are getting the same output. So the code is correct. Okay. So now let's try to understand how this code is working. So first what we are doing is we are checking whether the node which we are going to delete is the last node or not by this statement. So what we are simply doing if for suppose let's say we are given this node as an input the 30th node. So what we are checking that the node next to this is null or not. If this is null then we will return over here. Okay. Then we are just uh, creating a temporary node that is delete which is the node next to the node we are going to delete. Okay. And then here what we are doing is we are just copying the data from the next node to the current node like this one. The data from the next node to the current node is copied. Okay. And then what we are doing is we are assigning the node next to the delete node to the current node as we can see in this step. Okay. And then at last we are just deleting the temporary node as we can see that we have deleted this node. Okay, one more thing, we can also use delete function to delete this temporary node instead of this free function. This is the C++ code. This is the Python 3 code for the same logic and the same approach, the second approach which we are using. And this is the Java code for the same approach which we are using. Now let's move forward for the first approach. That was using the pointer. Okay. Okay, so for the first approach, we are just going to make another temporary variable, a temporary pointer to hold the value of the next node to the current node. Okay, this node again. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to assign the reference to the node next to the current node to the current node. Okay, so now what is happening in this line is that uh, first this node pointer was referencing to this node. Okay, and after going to, to this code, what we are go doing is we are just not referencing it to this node. Instead of this, we are just referencing it to the next node. Okay, so we have just swapped the values in the reference pointer. And now we can delete this temporary node as well. So with this our code is complete and we can try to run it. Okay, so as we can see, uh, we have got the correct output again. So, so this was the C++ code for the first approach by using the pointers. So I have a little work for you all guys. So in C++ we use pointers and in Java we use reference instead of pointers. So I want you to write this code in Java with the same logic with the help of references and comment it down below in the comment section and we'll check it out. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button down below and comment how was the video and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.